Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a performance issue that many developers encounter when working with QML maps. Our viewer is struggling with displaying a large number of map items efficiently. The question at hand involves displaying between 30,000 to 120,000 points on a QML map, which leads to significant performance degradation. The viewer has already tried various methods, but is seeking ways to optimize their code without adding extra dependencies. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the performance issue with displaying a large number of map items in QML, we need to optimize how we manage these items. First, let's look at the current approach. One key improvement is to limit the number of map items displayed at any given time. Instead of rendering all items, consider implementing a clustering technique. Next, let's modify the code to improve performance. Instead of removing and adding all points every time the queue slider is moved, we can update only the visible items. Additionally, consider using a more efficient data structure for managing your points. For example, using a spatial index can help quickly find which points to display. Finally, ensure that your QML components are lightweight. For instance, reduce the complexity of the map circle component, if possible. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Qt indicates that performance drops as more elements are added to the map. Consider if all points need to be visible at once. If not, adjust visibility settings. You can use QQuick Painted Item in C++ to draw points and wrap it in a map quick item especially for multiple polygons. However, be cautious of image size limitations. If you need all points, consider varying the number of points based on the map's zoom level. Reduce points at lower zoom levels for better performance. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Bye.